Dread Wargaming yet again. And this is my my response, my response video. It's a response video. A uh, response to Big Mech Dank Skull. Um, very cool name, I like that name, it's very good. Uh, he admits he's not all that orky though. With a name like that, why not? You need to go fully green, my friend. Clearly need to drop all other pursuits and go fully green. But anyway, this video is me declaring Overwatch on his assault. Um, he said a few things about my video, um, or, or about what I was trying to get at. Well, I think it just got me wrong a little bit. Um, so I think we're probably singing off the same hymn sheet, but maybe have a varying degree of uh, time for Games Workshop, shall we say. Um, see, I'd, I had asked in, in my original video, I'd said that it would have been nice if this box had come with some orc terrain. Now, there are several reasons I said this. I, I do understand that Vigilus, first of all, is an Imperial planet. Um, but orcs are present on that planet, and whenever orcs are present, they're going to fuck shit up. They're gonna play around with stuff, you know, bish, bash, bosh, you've got orc scenery. You know, before long, as soon as an orc sat down on something, it's become orc scenery, because he's just <laughs> sat down on it, chucked this down, chucked that down. You know, you know what I'm saying? I think you get me. Anyway, beyond that, Vigilus has orcs on it in the form of the Speed Freaks. And the Speed Freaks box that's just launched has Orc scenery in it. So making the excuse for Games Workshop that, oh, it's an Imperial planet, so therefore Imperial scenery don't wouldn't really find Orc scenery, they have it. They have it in the Speed Freaks box, which is based on Vigilus. So secondary to that is the fact that if you are building an Orc kill team, you are interested in orcs so the best thing to stick with orcs is orc stuff because that is where the person's interests lie the person that bought the box is interested in orcs most probably so if they're a new player they might be confused as i said that those imperial bits were orky and i think orky bits would suit their army much better to have on the shelf with their orc army or their orc kill team they would be much happier with that besides which existing customers who already have um, their orc army, they don't want a, a, a cut of the imperial bits and bobs to chuck in amongst it, they want orc stuff, that's what they're collecting. You might want them to convert, sure, but I mean, if, if an orc player wanted to go out and buy the Septa Mechanicus Galvanic Server Hall, it's like you said, they're only saving a couple of quid by actually buying them together with the Burner Boys anyway. If they want to buy them things, they'd go out and buy them. If they want to make an orc kill team with standard orc burner looters, they've probably either already got them or they can go out and buy them. There's not really an incentive to buy this box. I really just don't think there is. Um, I also think that, you know, what I'm trying to say about them making a more complete kill team box is it's not that I necessarily wanted it to contain a, a full kill team. Maybe I, maybe I was mistaken in trying to ask for perhaps a full kill team, but I wanted a more complete full uh, kill team. More complete in that the models actually represent the specialisms, because, as far as I'm concerned, that's a huge, huge mistake by Games Workshop. They're just pushing out old products with new rules. That's so lame, and we can all see through it. If you actually took the opportunity where you've got this amazing new game system to release new models, you would have done amazingly well. I mean, look at the existing player market, for example. Right? Existing players, kill team comes along, they've already got a kill team. They, they've already got the models in their army, and so all they have to do is go out and buy the rule book. That's great, yeah. So they go out and buy the rule book, they love Kill Team, they think this is great, blah, 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 but they're not buying anything new. There comes in your starter set box or your Kill Team box, that should do anyway, or maybe perhaps they do a second round of Kill Team boxes, specialism ones perhaps, let's hope so. But that's how I would have done it. I would have actually had um, boxes come out that were unique to Kill Team, so people aren't going, well, I don't need to buy that, I've already got it. They're going, oh wow, now I could just use my Looter Burner Boys that I've got, but these ones here come with like a Orky Walkie Talkie, or a, um, this one here is he's, he's got some kind of weird banner because he's a zealot, you know, like there's bits and bobs that you can add to them on these sprues that make them unique to kill teams. So people who already have those models will actually 
probably rush out to buy the box just for them extra few bits and bobs. That's, that's what we're like. We're model collectors, but we don't like being sold the same thing again and again and again, rebranded, repackaged, but essentially the same. It's just a change of colour. That's nice. <laughs> anyway, um, I do love the Luta Burner Sprue. I'm not, I'm not dissing it at all. It's one of the best for Orcs by far. You can do a lot with it and you get a lot of leftovers from whatever you don't build. So I'm not attacking it. It just it is 10 years old. It's got loads of space on it. And if you wanted to make an Orc specific kill team, then a couple of spare heads, a couple of extra bits and bobs would have been enough to sell most existing players on it. Um, but there you go. Uh, as for it being good business sense, you say, I really disagree there. Um, you stated that, you know, someone with spare cash and blah, 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 like yourself, um, it makes good business sense for Games Workshop to do this, in your opinion, because you'll buy it. Well, you're you. There's not very many yous out there, realistically. And when you're trying to sell a product, you need to be trying to engage the full capacity of your market, not just like few people in your market a few people that can afford it you, you, you're trying to aim for as many people as possible especially with a starter set it wasn't aimed at you clearly it wasn't aimed at people that have just got the spare money like i said if you've got the money sure go and get it you get a few this a few that but that's like you pointed out yourself it's a starter set so it's, it's not for people with money just to throw around stupidly like they're looking to get a complete or a when you are a beginner, you're trying to get as much for your money as you can. You know, you're still not sure about whether you really want to invest in this thing even. So having as much available to you right from the off is far more attractive. You know, it very much put people off before in the past when I used to say to them, look, you know, get into 40k. Oh, what do you need? Oh, well, you need this, then this, then this, then this. Oh, and you'll also need this and this and this. It puts people off. You know, Games Workshop have made a massive improvement lately with a lot of their start collecting sets and uh, a lot of their introduction into the hobby uh, stuff that they do. You know, a lot of them um, easy build sets, although I hate the easy build stuff, they're awful, um, in my opinion, for, from an experienced player. But for someone new, they're great. You know, so I, I'm not going to knock them. I think they're fantastic um, for what they're intended for. And I, I just really think that this kill team had two potential market audiences and neither of them were really catered for very well in my opinion um, I'd, and, and as for the server haulers and the fact that they have a tactic specially made for them or whatever it's not that the fluff came first and the tactic and then they said oh well we better make a model for this they already had them server haulers laying around they just wanted an excuse to use them so they made up some fluff and some, some tactics so that they could excuse putting them in an orc box. That's purely all that happened, I can guarantee it. But anyway, that's the end of my rant. I, I'm, um, I was just clarifying a few things that I said. There's my Overwatch. Done. Anyway, guys, I hoped you liked my sort of uh, Overwatch on uh, Big Mac Dank's goal. Um, I really appreciate him making a video and this video here was kind of a bit off the cuff I wasn't expecting to make it but I appreciate having done it um, but I am actually working on other things at the moment so I've got a couple of other videos that were more planned so I have one that I'm hoping to release very soon called Orc Essentials and there's a whole playlist called Orc Essentials so it's another clever player word so you know I love them um, the Orc Essentials is a place where you can get tips and tricks um, for being a green skin player. So all the things I've learned over the years, um, all the things that can save you money, save you time, or just look dope as hell, you know, just little things that I've had to beg people to tell me how they did, and once I found out, I've, I want to share that information. I mean, the internet's great. These days you can find out anything. And back in the day, you used to have to really sort of like just badger somebody just be chewing their ear off every day just like how did you do that again tell me how did you do that would you tell me how you did that and now you don't have to do that you can just look it up online or just follow the war, the dread war game and you know like that's all you got to do just follow me i'll see you through gizzy is this is the reason i've got a mouthful of fluff at the moment is my gizzy cat she's my angel when it's early yeah she's she's called gizmo because she's like a gremlin because i actually I pulled this one out of a canal, believe it or not.
just before the canal empties into a really rapid river. So I literally saved this cat's life. Um, but now she's got like about 30% lung capacity because she swallowed so much water that um, she breathes like a gremlin. Yeah, get down, darling. Get down, man. Oh, poor Nip. Anyway, there she goes. Pets. Everybody has them in their YouTube videos. Have you noticed? <laughs> anyway, more about my channel. Playlists, in fact. I have another playlist, which is my Brutally Honest or Honestly Brutal Reviews playlist, which I'm sure you've already seen the first one of. Um, there'll be plenty more of those with all the New York releases coming out. And beyond that, I have the Mex Garage, where I'll be doing all my building and painting. And stuff like this video here, I'm going to throw into a playlist that I'm calling The Fungus Brew House, which is an orc pub um, or bar if you're anywhere outside of the UK and Ireland, it's called a bar, but it's a, it's a pub, it's a orc pub. Um, and so you get what you expect in a pub, lots of meaningless banter and um, general chit chat. So if you're into that sort of thing, all the long winded, this sort of rubbishy videos where I just talk a load of bollocks, that's where you're gonna find them. But if you want all the serious stuff, then go follow Orc Essentials and Demex Garage. Okay. I hope that you guys are going to like this video. I hope you're going to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell icon and all that sort of stuff down below, not above, because I'm not silly. I do learn. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.